Now I have funny little spots in my vision. <laughs> So today is the day that we are actually leaving Portland. Five weeks to the day that we were supposed to leave Portland, we're headed out of town um, on the Central Oregon Breeze bus to Bend, and we're gonna spend a few days uh, in the Bend and Sisters area, exploring, uh, visiting my brother, and then we're going to head east from there. The bus to Bend unfortunately didn't have any bike racks. And at first, the driver wanted us to box bikes, but after he saw how small they folded, he let us put them on without a problem. We said our final goodbyes to Portland as it rolled by, and slowly the landscape changed from lush green forest to high desert. So we just got off the bus in Bend. Uh, it's gloriously sunny here, which is a very nice change from Portland. Uh, it was about a four and a half hour ride, a little bit long. Glad to get off and be able to stretch our legs a little bit, ride over to my brother's place. After settling in and unpacking the bikes, we took on Pilot Butte, a short, steep climb that afforded some amazing views of Bend and the surrounding mountains. Although the ride to the top was only a mile long, it averaged about 9% and gained 500 feet. So we're up at the top of Pilot Butte here in Bend. It's a place that a lot of the locals go to watch the sunset over the Cascade Mountains. So we thought that we would do the same. It's a short little climb up to the top, but pretty steep. Um, but the Bromptons made it, and so did we. We brought a picnic dinner with us, and now we're just waiting for the sun to go down. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Now I have funny little spots in my vision. <laughs> After sunset, we rode screaming down the hill through the night air, thinking about how it was well worth the climb. So we're here in front of the Orvis store in Bend, Oregon. And one cool thing about this location is that it's the only Orvis store that actually has a fly fishing golf course. So I'm gonna go and try out a couple of the holes and see how I do. So since they probably frowned upon uh, actually casting with a fly with a hook, I'm gonna use this thing. It's, uh, it's actually a float, it's not a real fly, but it'll do in a pinch. Although my roll casting was a little rusty, I did manage to get some inside the targets. Locals, however, remain largely unimpressed. We met up with Sarah Salo at Thump, a bike-friendly coffee shop in Bend, to talk about her upcoming bicycle tour. I decided to do a tour. I decided I wanted to just, I said, screw it, I'm just gonna go and ride my bike. <laughs> uh, and then from there, I decided I wanted to ride for a cause. When I started really thinking about that, I didn't wanna just, I didn't wanna just ride and raise money for something. I wanted to bring an action to people. I would read all these studies about health associations, you know, like the lack of vegetables is associated with right. obesity or whatever. And so like, I just got so frustrated with just like seeing these things, all these projects that just were looking at numbers and not doing anything about it. So that's sort of why 
I wanted to, uh, that, why I decided on my tour to actually like bring a program to these places that I'm going to, yeah. rather than just writing and talking about something because yeah. I, that's it's been done. It's not so much just me coming in and saying the the value of healthy food is right. this. You know, it's not a lecture. The majority of the class time is going to be spent helping the kids to sort of think about what's important to them around bikes and around food yeah. and then identify an area of that they would like to address both in their personal lives and then more in their environment as well so probably in their school but it could be in their community yeah. so so thinking about a area that they'd like to improve and then making a goal and then actually creating an action plan nice. on how they can move forward yeah. and achieve that goal so yeah. something simply like um, I'd like to help my mom make dinner once a week or you know encourage um, encourage my friends to drink less chocolate milk or whatever yeah. is important to them mm -hmm. that's what I want them to focus on and then as a group I, I'm going to in the classroom kind of help them brainstorm and come together and create an action plan around something that they can move forward with as a group so maybe yeah. it's uh, installing bike racks at their school, you know, some, something like that. We said goodbye and wished her luck on her upcoming tour. Hi, my name is Sarah Salo. I'm the cyclist behind the School Food Tour. You can follow me on schoolfoodtour.org. And is definitely a bicycle town. Lots of great local rides. One of them is Tumalo Falls, which is only 10 miles from the city. Only after a few miles of riding, you'll find yourself on the beautiful country road with really light auto traffic. The last three miles to the falls is on the gravel road where you'll pass Tumalo Creek, a great place to stop and take a break. We're here at Tumalo Falls. It's a real popular place to ride to with uh, locals from Bend. The uh, last couple miles were gravel, but the Bromptons handled it perfectly. And it's an amazing view, great place to spend the day. From the falls, it was mostly downhill back to the city of Bend. We didn't really know what to expect from Bend. We heard it was a great cycling town and a great outdoor city. We were surprised at how much was really going on. There's great bikes, there's great beer, and great coffee. If you're riding the Trans Am or want to escape the rain from Portland, it's definitely worth the detour to spend a couple days in Bend, enjoy the sun, and the great cycling there. <laughs>